friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a bit of a different video. Today I'm going to show you my planner toolbox, which is just a box of planner tools that I keep that I like to use while I'm planning. Um, just things I find useful. I will have everything I can find linked in the description box down below for you, so make sure you check that out. Um, or if I can find something comparable if some of my versions are not around anymore. But starting off with the bigger items, the first thing I have is this cutting board. Basically, I use this to cut anything planner related that my little scissors that you guys will see in just a little bit are too tiny for. So bottom washi, full boxes, half boxes, anything that's like pretty much over an inch, I use this for. This is pretty old. Oop, excuse me. Um, this is pretty old, but if I find anything comparable, I will link it. I'm sure I'll be able to. You know, you just put the paper in there and then slide the slicer and take it out. So I really do like this. The next big item in my book is a reusable sticker book. I find this useful for two different purposes. Number one, I have it in here the days of the week. So I can pre-pull stickers that I will be using for my weeks in my plan with me. These are some stickers I decided not to use. I often use glasses as placeholders if I'm waiting on a sticker in the mail. Um, so pulling stickers for playing with me's or for spreads and then second this is what you see me flip to every week when I do any type of day extender foldable box double box hack um this page has kind of had it I don't know if you guys can see but it is ripped here um so it is useful for doing those kind of hacks as well so you can never go wrong with a reusable sticker book so the next item in my little box of tricks is my little tiny scissors. These are what I use to cut tinier things. So like character stickers mainly, honestly, um, or flags. When I cut the flags in the top corner of my spread, these are what I use. No idea where these are from, from but I'll try to find something similar to link down below. I'm sure you guys can find tiny scissors a lot of places. Next up, I have this tool and this one. They actually came in a set together um, from Circuit, and these were both inspired by a planner pix. Well, not both, but mainly this one. She has this scraper tool she uses to get stickers up, and this is the closest thing I have found to hers. I got this on Amazon, and it does come with this, which I have used a lot. You can see a lot of sticky on it. Um, I use this to kind of smooth down edges of boxes um, when I'm making foldables and just kind of really crease the edges or when I want to make sure all the air bubbles are out of an overlay. This is a really great tool. It also has a straight edge, so for cutting anything you need to. It's a really great tool to have to line up your blade with. Next, I have the famous undo. If you guys haven't seen this stuff, it's basically this liquid. You guys can probably see it in there shaking around that you dump onto your stickers that you want to lift up but still be able to use and it makes them lift up and you can use the sticker once the adhesive remover dries. Um, this stuff is amazing. Um, love it. Cannot say enough good things about it. I know some states you can't get it in, so um, get yourself an undo fairy if you have to. The next thing I use pretty constantly and is one of my most used planner tools are my tweezers. These I got from an Etsy shop. I don't remember which one, but it is linked down below, of course. Um, I for a long time didn't use tweezers. You guys can go back in my planner videos and see I was pretty resistant to the whole tweezer trend and now I can't imagine life without them. So, you know, get yourself a, a pair of tweezers. Next, we're gonna get into something that like every planner girl has, I feel, and that is white out, specifically the Tombow Mono Correction Tape. This is just my favorite white out. I order big packs of it at a time from Amazon. This one's almost empty, so I'm gonna have to replace her soon, but gotta have white out. Moving in to a similar 
thing to white out. This is in a similar rollout format, but instead of tape, it's actually a roll out adhesive. So if stickers become a non-sticky anymore from lifting up, pulling them down, um, underlays, underlay tapes don't work very well with the undo specifically. So if they need to stick down again, this is just really nice to have or sticking unused planner pages together. Just love this stuff. I'm gonna save my favorite tool for last. We have two more. Next, I'm sure you are all waiting for this one. This is just a slice tool. Take the cap off. It is just a little teeny tiny, I don't even know if it'll focus, razor. Do you guys see that? It's a teeny tiny little blade that is really good for cutting things. Like I mentioned earlier with that circuit tool, you can kind of line it up if you need to and cut, you know, stickers. So um, do love that. Now, of course I can't get it. Oh, I didn't cut all the way through, that's why. Um, but get yourself a slice tool, get yourself something to line it up with. These are great. Then last but not least, and the newest addition to my toolbox family is this little guy. Um, I asked Randy of Planner Pixie Co. because she uses one in her videos. And this is an adhesive remover, um, but it's like an eraser. So if you have peeled up a sticker and there's some adhesive left, this will get it off beautifully so you don't have to use or waste more undo um, or if you didn't use undo and you just peeled up a sticker because you didn't want it there anymore and it's still sticky this will get rid of it it is amazing affordable um i have only used it a couple times but i've been so impressed and this was seriously a great addition to my planner toolbox Okay, friends, so that's it for what's in my planner toolbox. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you end up purchasing any of these tools or if you have anything that you just use from week to week that I don't have and you would recommend. Please put it in this description box down below because I'm always trying to find things that would just make my planning life a little bit easier. As always, please send me a message on Instagram if you're struggling and need somebody to talk to. I hope you all have a fantastic week and I will see you in my next video. Bye friends.